In the vast expanse of the cosmos, where the laws of physics are stretched to their limits, lies one of the most mesmerizing yet violent spectacles, a black hole devouring a star. These cosmic events, known as tidal disruption events, offer a rare glimpse into the immense gravitational forces at play in the universe and the fate that befalls stars unfortunate enough to cross paths with these enigmatic cosmic beasts. Astronomers have seen an intermediate mass black hole continuously tearing pieces off a star similar to our Sun, every 25 days or so, losing the weight of three Earths. According to estimates, the black hole J2157, which is found at the center of the galaxy, has a mass that is 34 billion times greater than the Sun. Using Hawaii's Keck Observatory, an international team of astronomers made this discovery. Join us today as we dig deep into the discovery of this hungry black hole repeatedly destroying a star that could defy cosmology. The astronomers were alerted to the star by a bright X-ray flash that seemed to come from the center of the nearby galaxy, around 500 million light-years away from the Milky Way. They rapidly scheduled further swift observations of it, finding that instead of decaying away as expected, it would shine brightly for 7 to 10 days before abruptly going dark, repeating this cycle roughly every 25 days. This marked the first time that scientists had observed a sun-like star being repeatedly snacked upon by a supermassive black hole. When a star has material ripped away by a black hole as its orbit brings it close by, similar behavior has been seen in phenomena known as quasi-periodic eruptions and periodic nuclear transients. However, these phenomena differ in how frequently they erupt and whether the explosion is primarily visible in X-rays or optical light. SWIFT J0230 may be the missing link connecting the two types of outbursts because of its emissions regularity, which fell in the middle of the two. The star has a mass that is similar to that of the Sun, but the black hole has a surprisingly large mass. The black hole is not supermassive as expected, despite being at the galaxy's center. The black hole, which belongs to the elusive class of intermediate mass black holes, is thought to be 10,000 to 1 lake times more massive than our Sun. It weighs a lot more than supermassive ones that are often found in the galactic core, and ones that are about the mass of a star, which come from supernova explosions. Most black holes are in the range of 100 million Sun masses, but the one at the center of our own galaxy, Sagittarius is estimated to be 4 million solar masses. The black hole's gravitational forces play a central role in this cosmic drama. As the star's remains swirl around the black hole, they form an accretion disk, a swirling disk of superheated gas and dust. This disk emits intense radiation, including X-rays, which can be detected by telescopes in space. The black hole's insatiable appetite continues to pull the star's remains closer and closer, eventually causing them to plunge into the event horizon, where they are lost forever to the black hole's interior. This moment is marked by an intense burst of radiation, a flare, that astronomers can observe and study. Black hole eruptions in the past either happened every few hours or once a year, but it is not unusual for stars to just be partially shredded by black holes in this way. Previous study indicates such half-deaths may even be more common than demolished ones. SWIFT J0230 is an exciting addition to the class of partially disrupted stars, since it demonstrates how the two classes of these objects, which have already been discovered, are in fact connected through the use of our new approach. The SWIFT X-ray transient detector, an automated XRT observation search tool created by Evans, made it possible to find SWIFT J0230. The most potent explosions in the universe, gamma ray bursts, were the focus of SWIFT's early research. But ever since the satellite's launch, researchers have seen how well it can examine a wide range of celestial objects, including comets and tidal disruptions. The black hole's feeding frenzy is caused by its enormous size and the fact that it is located in a region of space where there is a high concentration of stars. Its powerful gravitational pull draws in stars, 
and other materials as it moves through the galaxy. The finding of this devouring black hole has major implications for our understanding of the cosmos. It implies that there might be further black holes in the universe that are even more massive and consume even more matter. It also makes one wonder what would happen to galaxies with such large black holes in the long run. The black hole will eventually run out of fuel and stop expanding as it absorbs more and more matter. It will stop producing the light that astronomers need to detect it at that moment and go inactive. These hungry black holes may be dangerous, but they also have an important role in the development of galaxies. They may even be responsible for the development of some of the biggest structures in the universe as they regulate the expansion of stars and other matter. In conclusion, a black hole's voracious appetite for stars, as showcased in tidal disruption events, serves as a reminder of the incredible forces that shape our universe. These rare, yet awe-inspiring occurrences allow us to witness the cosmic ballet of destruction and creation, where stars meet their end in a blaze of glory, and black holes grow ever more massive, casting their gravitational shadows across the cosmos. While such encounters may be rare in our galactic neighborhood, they remind us of the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of the universe. In the vast cosmic theater, where stars are born and stars die, the spectacle of a black hole feasting on a star is a reminder and dedication for the astronomers who study it, and it is a source of inspiration for all those who seek to understand the mysteries of the cosmos. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating space-related content. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.